Hi, I'm Jonathan Stevens from EveryPoint. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to calculate the surface area of this lawn from a point cloud. I'm going to use two tools. I'm going to use Cloud Compare, which is this software in right now, and I'm going to use MeshLab. MeshLab is a free open source software you can get on PC or Mac as well. And so we're going to start in Cloud Compare with your point cloud. I scan this using the EveryPoint app, and as long as you have a good point cloud, you can do this yourself. So we want to know what's the surface area of this lawn area. So the first thing I need to do is make sure I clip out the lawn. And to do that, make sure that your point cloud is selected and then click this scissor tool at the top and just start clicking along the edge of your grass. And I want to get the measurement surface area of the sod because I want to replace it, but it doesn't have to be exact. So I can be fairly general in my clicks. Um, if you if you spent more time, you could probably get a better shape, but we just want to be quick here and get a good idea. What is this area? So there we go. I have everything turned into a polygon, and then I'm just going to click this segment in button, and everything that was not inside that polygon will disappear, and then I'll hit this delete or the trash can button. So now I'm just here with the lawn, and this is perfect. This is what we want. And there's going to be two ways we can get the surface area. Uh, the first way is only good if you have a very flat area. This is not flat. As you can see by on the side, it's kind of like a got a sloped edge here. Oh, and I see some points there, so let's delete those. But it's a sloped edge, not what we want. Um, but um, the, the quick way, let's say you're doing a building facade or a really flat lawn, this will work. You're just going to go to Tools, Fit, and 2D Polygon Faucet. There you go. And it creates this 2D polygon. It's not perfect. As you can see here, when you have a concave section as well, it will kind of fill that in. But it's a quick and easy way. It's going to get us this general shape. And then we're just going to go down in this database tree to the 2D polygon, and we're going to export this. And so you can just click the disk button or hit Control S, and we're going to save this. And I already saved a copy of it, but let's just overwrite it called Lawn faucet and hit yes. And so now I have a copy of it and I can go to mesh lab and hit file and import mesh and find that same file again. I have it in my documents and here you go. So this 2d shape. And so now I want to get the surface area of this shape. And so to do that, all I have to do is first select the whole polygon and that's by using this select tool and then just drag in a box across it. Now everything's selected, I can go to filters, I can go to quality measure and computations, and then compute area slash perimeter of selection. And there we go. At the bottom right here, you'll have your measured area, your surface area here. And it says it is 65.91. And that is in whatever you have for unit set for this point cloud. For me, if we had it in meters, so that's 65.91 meters. And let's just do a quick gut check to see how that compares. If I do just some 2D tape measure measurements across this, I'm gonna get 5.8 and let's go across this way, 11.79. And so in my head, that makes sense that we get to 65. If you multiply those two, it's gonna be somewhat close, but again, we're missing a corner here. It's not a perfect rectangle. However, this is not reality. We have a sloped lawn. So we actually will have more surface area because it's curved. So what do we want to do? We want to actually create a better mesh. This was just a flat plane that semi fit that area. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Cloud Compare. And I'm going to take the contours and get rid of all of this information, go back to the grass. And I'm going to go to the plugins and go to Poisson Recon and just leave Octree Depth at 8. And then make sure Output Density as SF is checkmarked. Hit OK. And it's going to create a mesh. And of course, this mesh is not what we want. We only want part of it. We want this red area. So to do that, we go to the left in the properties of this mesh. And in the scalar fields display parameters, we can grab this dot on the far left and drag it to the right until everything is gone except for the grassy area. 
And that's what we want to measure. So I have everything all selected here. And now I want to actually take this and export it as a new mesh because I just hid things artificially. I didn't actually create a mesh. I'm going to go to edit, scalar fields, filter by value, and just hit export. So now I got myself a new mesh that we can measure on. And so from here, I'm going to save this. And I already had it saved as lawn under, under bar Poisson, hit save. I'm going to replace it. And now it's saved as a new mesh. I'm going to go back to Mesh Lab. You know, for now, I'm going to make sure I disengage my measurement tool here. I'm going to hide that old uh, that that old shape and add a new one. So go to File, Import Mesh, Lawn Poisson. And there we go. We have our new mesh in there. So now, if we look at this, we can see it's curved. It looks much more detailed. We even see the lawn stone bumps in there. And we're going to take a measurement on this. So again, we just want to make sure we have everything selected using this, this polygon select tool and select everything. And then go to, again, we're going to go to filters, quality measuring computation, compute area slash perimeter of selection. And now we have our new area. So it's 65.48. So that's actually a little smaller. Um, and that, that might be because when we did the, the flat plane, it was filling in a part of this area over here. But uh, this will be a much more accurate measurement when you do it using this method. Because again, we're measuring this curved area, not flat. So I would use this method if you're doing something more organically shaped, as opposed to, let's say, a building facade, where you can actually just fit a plane to it and get that measurement. So that's a quick and easy way using these two software suites. Um, let me know if you find this useful. Make sure you comment on this video if there's any questions you have about measuring something else. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to see more cloud comparator tutorials in the future.